Have you been working hard at the gym in an effort to achieve muscle gain? That's a great first step in your fitness journey, but you also have to focus on both muscle recovery and feeding your body the supplements it needs in order to keep improving. Working out and doing it right will no doubt contribute to your overall health and well-being. Regardless of whether you're new to lifting or an advanced lifter, the one thing you should know is this, the key to a strong, healthy lean body is nutrition. Welcome back to another episode of Top Trainer. Exercise not only changes your body, but it also changes your mind, attitude, and mood. Subscribe to the channel now and never miss any of our latest and greatest videos to keep you motivated and equipped with the knowledge to succeed. All the world's most famous bodybuilders agree that bodybuilding doesn't happen only in the gym, it also happens in the kitchen. And there's a twofold reason for that. One, your body needs supplements to function at its very best, and two, not even the world's best workout plan can fix the damage that is caused from a poor diet and bad eating. Ideally, we would be able to get all the nutrients we need from the food we eat, but unfortunately, that's not the case for most of us. Over 70% of the typical American diet is comprised of processed foods, so getting what we need from our food is harder and harder. In fact, most people have vitamin B6, iron, and vitamin D deficiencies. Bodybuilders and other athletes spend hours in the gym training, and those who compete follow strict diets to get leaner and more defined. It's important not to go too low on the caloric intake, since it can actually prevent you from building muscle. Sports nutrition can help in these areas, allowing you to get high amounts of protein, which boosts lean muscle mass and supports weight loss. In fact, a study published in the American Journal of Physiology, Endocrinology, and Metabolism found bodybuilders taking 20 grams of protein, in this case, whey, before or after they hit the gym boosted their amino acid levels, which is necessary for putting on muscle. That's not all, though. Vitamins and minerals should be part of your muscle building regimen as well. Deficiencies can impact your body in several ways, which isn't helpful when it comes to getting the gains you need. In short, protein alone isn't enough. Many vitamins fight inflammation, support stress levels, and promote immune health. They can also help support hypertrophy, otherwise known as muscle size increase. All of this is crucial in your journey toward muscle growth and repair. Over-supplementation and inappropriate use of supplements can be dangerous, so be sure to consult with your healthcare provider or practitioner prior to implementing a supplement regimen. But now, let's take a quick look at the ABC of vitamins that promote muscle growth and repair. Vitamin D. Vitamin D has been given the nickname of the sunshine vitamin, and that's because we get it from sunlight. However, it's hard to get the amount you need when you work indoors or don't live in a sunny state. The vitamin helps you maintain healthy bones and support protein synthesis, which is what we need to stay healthy and strong. Vitamin D also helps promote nutrient absorption, mood balance, and insulin. And when we're older, it can especially affect us. Although it can be difficult to get enough vitamin D from diet alone, eating plenty of fatty fish, think tuna, mackerel, and salmon, soy milk, beef liver, egg yolk, and cheese help keep levels of this important vitamin high. You may want to take vitamin D3 with vitamin K2, which is an important pairing. Vitamin D allows you to absorb calcium, which vitamin K then directs appropriately to build bone. Without vitamin K, calcium can build up in your arteries instead of your bones and contribute to heart disease. Vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 helps your body produce red blood cells, which are responsible for delivering oxygen to the muscles. This action makes B12 a key player in muscle growth. You can find this one in most of the foods you eat, like fish, dairy and poultry. A word of warning, vegans and vegetarians are at a higher risk of deficiency, so be sure to eat plant milks, soy and soya beans, and some fortified cereals. Additionally, you'll want to consider taking vitamin B12 supplements. Vitamin B3 Vitamin B3, also called niacin, 
supports muscle growth, and gives you better pumps. That's why so many bodybuilders and fitness models load up on this nutrient before photo shoots. It also can promote the metabolism of glucose, increase good cholesterol while limiting your bad cholesterol, and support healthy hormone production. You can get this food easily, as it's found in bananas, eggs, seeds, meats, and fish. Vitamin B6. Noticing a trend here. The B vitamin family are power players when it comes to bodybuilding and muscle repair. You'll want to get enough of this vitamins, as it can promote red blood cell production and healthy levels of nitric oxide, which is produced naturally in the body and can support performance and endurance. To get this into your diet, you'll want to add fish, especially fatty fish, like albacore, tuna, and salmon, chippias, and bananas if you're not into beef liver or fatty fish. Or if you don't eat meat, chippias and bananas are your friend. One can of chippias, for instance, delivers over 55% of the daily recommended amount of B6. Think about supplementing with a B6 vitamin as well. Vitamin E Vitamin E is well known for its skin-loving properties, but it isn't just for your skin. Vitamin E not only slows down aging and scavenges free radicals, substances from the environment or toxins that are harmful to our health and can cause chronic illness, but also helps flush out metabolic waste. When we exercise, we create oxidative stress, free radicals, within the body. The good news? This vitamin actually undoes some of the damage of free radicals. Vitamin A, this vitamin is unparalleled as it supports protein synthesis and the creation of glycogen. It also helps our eyes, fights free radicals, and supports healthy, strong bones. The problem with vitamin A, however, is that it can be made deficient by lots of environmental factors, alcohol illness, like diabetes, and low-fat diets. Easy ways to eat vitamin include eating eggs, fatty fish, are we noticing a trend? And with that, we've reached the end of today's episode all about the best multivitamins effective for training. Which vitamins do you find most effective? Let us know and get involved in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this one and found it helpful, remember to leave a like on the video and to subscribe to Top Trainer for even more amazing videos, just like this one. Also, if you want even more information to help you on your own fitness journey and to browse our range of supplements, fitness equipment, and check out our bespoke fitness guides, head on over to toptrainer.com for all of our latest products and information. As always, thanks for watching. See you again soon in the next one.